What is up guys, I'm Wanda Turtle and today we have some more Hidden Fates news. This one's big. Let's go over to Poke Beach, as always, where we do get all the latest news posted by Water Pokemon Master. And um, so, the YouTuber Oblivion Welder has managed to get his hands on six of the pin collections. Man, how do people do this? I gotta, gotta figure this one out. <laughs> Find like a LGS to... Um, I don't know, figure out something out with. So out of the, so they opened 16, 18 of them. Um, I'm not going to play the video, and uh, but I'll put a link down below. Definitely go check that out. Uh, that's huge. And um, so out of 18 boost packs, he pulled eight cards from Shiny Vault. So kind of like the, instead of the SSRs and the SRs, it's the SV, Shiny Vault. I'm, Hidden Fates is kind of a weird name to begin with. I think someone left a comment about that. Um, and Shiny Vault is also kind of strange, but uh, we'll we'll run with it. Uh, super stoked about this set, so we'll definitely run with it. And so Shiny Vault is the Shinies. And uh, so out of 18 booster packs, he pulled eight. So that's that's much higher than I was expecting. So like you should, you know, kind of get one out of every... Um, uh, one out of every two or three. That's super high. I wonder if the GXs is probably a little bit lower. Like actually from this, um, from these, it looks like there's one GX and one full art. So if we just say one out of every nine to get a GX uh, slash full art, and then one out of um, every two or three to get something. So those those rates are pretty good, uh, higher than I was expecting. I think that's a kind of a good thing. I feel like there's a lot of speculation, a lot of aggressive speculation. Actually, the only speculation I see was that $400 Charizard, which was absolutely insane. Definitely don't buy that. <laughs> In fact, like there's, I feel like there's a lot of price gouging going on just because like all the pre-orders are gone. And to be honest, I feel like this is a hype, a um, exaggerated thing. What happened with Unbroken Bonds, or even I went uh, managed to get uh, at the same price, but you know, just bought like, all right, give me whatever you have left. And so, but then like the next day is art. Right, there's more stock. Everyone that paid extra, you know, sorry, you, you know, um, the FOMO really kicked in. So, but let's take a look. So yeah, definitely check out the video list down below. And they kind of go through the set list, the Hidden Fate set list, and um, so mostly from the family box thing. And uh, while this, so this thing was a Japanese thing that's more for like kids starting out with starting out with the game. And um, I feel like the art kind of reflects that, the Pokemon, you can see like their attacks are super simple. And, um, you know, I feel like there's a Charizard, so, you know, that's obviously going to be a hit. But at the same time, you know, it's not the not the shiny. And also, like, I don't know, his art does look like it's very simple for, I'm not, I don't know what a kid-friendly Pokemon is, but I don't know, something about this makes, makes me feel like it is very simple and that will be one of the things in the tin. So not exactly the biggest chase card. And uh, but then, yep, let's go down to the Shiny Vault cards. Still a weird name. And these were kind of like the ones I did pull, so I did get that Shiny Electrode and that Full Art Cynthia. That one's going to be huge. That may be a $100 card. Um, and then the rest of them, I don't know. The, oh, actually, the Malamar. The Malamar is still a thing. Psychic Recharge, that'll be one to go for as well. And, but yeah, they do kind of have like the list. Most of these came from uh, Ultra Shiny GX. However, there were some additional ones I did notice. And th these ones are still unconfirmed. Um, but uh, Shrine of Punishment, I'm like entirely positive the Shrine of Punishment wasn't there. And then these ones were actually the gold cards. And uh, so we'll kind of see how that goes for the English set. Lele, man, that, that's such a missed opportunity. I, I can't let that one go. Um, you know, if they had this like a year ago, the Leles would be so expensive. Um, but Shrine and Punishment is still a really good one. Uh, Guzma will still be cool no matter what. Uh, Cynthia, let's see what else do I want. I want the Gardevoir. So, like, actually, we'll go from these pictures. Oh man, so many good ones. Let me know in a comment down below. Which one do you want the most? For me, the list is huge. Scyther, Rowlet, obviously Charmander. That's a that's a nice shiny. Even though like the change is subtle, that one's good. Charmeleon also really nice. Ah, Alolan Vulpix, love it. You know what? I've been pulling a lot of whoopers and I'm always happy whenever I do for like the Japanese and Korean. Uh, so we'll go for a whooper. He's cute. I like him in Pokemon Go. Malamar, that's a sweet hit right there. Uh, oh, Sudo Wudo one. I pulled a Sudo Wudo one time. I was like, oh my gosh, this is right into Pickle Rick. And, uh, ah, Ralts, all the Ralts uh, line. Obviously the Eevee. And then uh, going on to the Shinies. Ah, oh, Orangaroo, if this was like a while ago, that would have been huge. And obviously, here's the big boy Charizard. Do not, do not buy him uh, for $400. <laughs> I 
I'm sure his uh, going rate will be high once the market settles, but it will be much lower than 400. I'm almost 100% positive. Uh, but let's see, we got Articuno, a legendary bird for sure. Ah, Alolan Vulpix, there we go. Yeah, this one's pretty good. I think this though, is this the... No, I don't think it's the sublimation one. Uh, what else we got? Glaceon, yep. And here's a big one. Mewtwo, uh, Espeon, green, nice. Umbreon has got some bluish, which is cool. Um, Zorark, ah yeah, a year ago. Would have been a huge hit. Scissor is always cool. I always like Guzzlord. Stack Attack is funny. And, um, ooh, man, I'm surprised this was... This was in this set. That, that that'll be really cool. If that's in there, and definitely one I'll be going for. But um, yeah, so you know, this is the um, the at this point, like the sneak peek, the people that someone managed to get the product ahead of time is starting to come out. So definitely stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, sounds like the pull rates are going to be pretty good. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, I think on Friday, someone mentioned a comment they're going to take the day off. I was like, oh man, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll try to go to Target or something before I go to work. Uh, I'll still probably need to go to work though. But um, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. What are you most excited about? What are you pulling for the hardest? And uh, whew, guys, less than a week. Here we go. Um, as always, thanks for watching. I'm Wanda Turtle. I'll catch you guys next time.